So I think this is like what part um, part four of the road to becoming less of a P word. So yeah, another deadlift day. We're doing three by fives today. No straps, you know what I mean? Like the name of the game is we acknowledge that we are less of a man because, you know, we pull sumo. So for the sake of not being like a full on P word, we've been on this journey of not using straps. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, if you're pulling sumo and using straps, you're a huge puss. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that was me, that was me. So now we've kind of had this enlightenment and we've decided to be less of a puss by still pulling sumo, um, but not using straps. So yeah, three by five, heavy shit, no straps. I don't want to jump the gun and say it feels good because we're still in like light warm-up territory um, and also like if you guys been keeping up with the vlogs you know sometimes I say shit feels really good and then all of a sudden shit hits the fan and we just like end up with complete failure like yesterday I was literally talking about how I felt like I had springs in my arm and I like shit the bed on my last set couldn't finish out strong so today we're just gonna play it cool you know what I mean like play it nice and cool um, I don't know, hopefully that makes a difference. No, 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 positive reinforcement. It feels good today, and the shit's gonna be moving easily the whole entire time. Now we just got a little buff increase because we took off the pump cover, and um, I'm feeling good, you know what I'm saying? Like, I honestly think I should take all my cutoffs and just cut them to the point where they're like not even shirts at this point because it feels so free, you know what I mean? Number one, you can't tell me like, hey, Kev, put a shirt on because I am wearing a shirt. And number two, it's cut so thin that it's like breathable all over, you know what I'm saying? So like, this is optimal for lifting, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think every company when it comes to making like lifting shirts should be cutting their shit this thin. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's light. That's light. And honestly, I have this, like, I have to give credit to this because it's so breathable. It's just making me feel really, really good. You know what I mean? So, like, it's increasing the strength as we speak. So, it's like, not only do we feel hella fucking good by removing the pump cover and getting that little buff added on, but also just, like, the buff of having such a breathable, nice, fitting amazing shirt it's another like buff so stacked on two buffs feeling good like today should be light you know what i mean today should be light I mean, yeah, we're feeling good. I have no complaints so far. Like, back feels really healthy. Hook grip feels solid, and we haven't even pit on chalk yet. Um, breathable shirt. We had a good morning, good day coming into the gym. All around, just good vibes. So, like, pretty optimal for some heavy lifts today. Pretty optimal. On the big 45, or big 405. A little bit of a taste test. <laughs> nah, shit's light. I should say, those are tasting really fucking good. And I don't know, man. Like, literally, best taste, tasting cookies I've ever had in my fucking life. So, that means that this shit's gonna be free. Like, literally fucking free. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh yeah, yeah. I think that was like the best 405 has felt in like fucking forever. I. I don't know, man. I'm telling you, like, as soon as I start picking up heavy shit, the mind scrambles. I can't really finish a sentence or like think what I was going to say. It's just kind of like, I don't know. It's a little hack, you know, if the weight's feeling super fucking heavy and you're trying to get yourself pumped so that it doesn't feel as heavy, fucking pit in some good coon tunes, turn that shit up, feel the music, you know what I mean? Like feel it surge through your, your body, your skin, your veins, your muscles. Let it be like somebody is fingering your ears and hitting that G spot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Feel that shit in you, you know what I mean? Like, let the music come alive in you, like it's performing a personal concert within your body. Turn up, you know what I mean? Turn up, get ready to pick up that heavy shit. So I was feeling nervous a little bit because uh, we're pulling on the inch platform. If you ask me why, it's because I care about my homies and I have other homies right now that are deadlifting. So I was like, let me take one for the team and take the shitty platform, I'll lift on the inch type of sit. You guys can lift on the flat ground. Got to be there for your homies. And then also no straps, you know. Um, yeah, you know, and we're still not all the way used to hook grip. So I was nervous until if you see over there, it's kind of hard to see with all that shit in the way. But we've spotted Orion. And I tell you guys, like when you have Orion around, it's just infinite fucking power. So this shit should be light. This shit should be light. I'm telling you guys, every single time you go to the gym, try to spot Orion and the PRs are gonna fly. Like it's gonna be too fucking easy. So I spotted my Ryan. So this shit should be free. It should be like a free set. Get our lifting condom on for protection. Little nip flick. Spot the Ryan. <sighs> Alright, ready. I mean, for a first set, that felt fucking good. So that tells me that second set should be free. And last set, we should be able to add on more weight. But we'll see, we'll see. So we just finished the second set. Or not just finished, we take like five minute breaks when we're doing like heavy shit like this. So like five minutes ago, we did our second set. Unfortunately, did not record it. You're just gonna have to take my word for it because we let our cameraman get a little break, you know, and, and they did their deadlifts. Um, so yeah, I did my deadlifts when they did their deadlifts, so I didn't get it recorded. But to make up for it, I decided to go heavy. We have on some weight that we've never done before. Um, five cookies on each side. And also to make up for it, we're doing it on the inch deficit. So we have weight that we've never done without straps for a set of five on the inch platform um, as my way of atonement 
You know what I mean? Like, this is my way of asking for your guys' forgiveness for not getting the second set. So I hope I can do this and, and make it up to you guys, truly. You know how it goes? We're gonna put on our, our nice belt for that ultra protection. You know what I mean? It's like getting in, in the car and fastening your seatbelt. You're safe with this on. You know what I mean? Like in a car, if you're going like 500 miles per hour, head on into a collision, you got your seatbelt on, you're safe. Same thing for this. I can lift with the most terrible fucking form, cat back and everything, but if we have this belt on, we're safe. Let me just say, because I don't want to spread misinformation, because I know there's some people that will take it that way, like being literal, that's a joke. A belt is not there to prevent you from all injuries. It's just to help you with bracing and you can push the limits of your lifts more, but it's not gonna protect you from an injury. You still need to lift like you have some sense of mind when you're wearing a belt. A little bit of envisioning going on, close your eyes. So we have Ryan trapped. He's trapped underneath some weight, you know what I mean? He's trapped underneath a 495 pound car, you know, and to get the car off of him, I have to pick up this weight five times right and on that fifth rep you know we have that momentum to just flip the car off of him but to get that momentum to flip the car off of him we have to get it for five so this set it's not for me it's for ryan we have to save him all right we're locked in we're locked in now I mean, damn, dude, that was like pushing the abilities of hook grip because like I can't even bend my thumb more than like this right now, which is actually good shit because that tells me when the thumbs recover, they're going to be even more built for hook grip, but I'm really, really happy with that. That's a big PR uh, strapless. And then also on the inch deficit, which is like really fucking huge for me. And we saved Ryan, you know? So in all today, really fucking solid. You know, like did not need straps at any point during the workout. We're able to hit two hard sets um, of 485 for five strapless and that big set of 495. So that's fucking huge. That's fucking huge.